So what's in my personal photography bag? Personal because that's the bag that I bring with me when I go and see friends, when I go and see my family, when I travel, when I know I might take a picture or two. Some of the items you're about to see will never make it on a professional photo shoot and others will. So don't overreact by saying that some of these are overkill for a family portrait photo shoot. I know. And I also added a few other little accessories that I've been using a lot lately that I find very useful every time I want to work, that I have to work on the go. So without further ado, let's roll the intro. items before you may have seen them here and there in my Instagram stories never made a review about them but still these are tools that I frequently use some of them I have bought with my own money and others were sent to me for testing or for as gifts first of all my first tiny teeny bag the low pro I can't remember the reference but I'm gonna put it somewhere on the screen and I've been using this bag for years now. I've changed the strap already, but again, I've been using this bag for seven, roughly seven to eight years, and it's been through a lot of things. So I believe it is still in good shape. It is small, compact, you open it from the top, and usually these days I use it to carry around my sound equipment. But every time I don't have to carry around my big photography bag, I use this one. With this bag, you can carry around with you a mirrorless camera with a small lens attached to it and two additional small lenses. But the past six, seven months, I've been carrying around with me in this bag only one camera and only one lens. Can you guess which camera? Yeah, the Canon R5 with the 50 mil, the f1.2, and of course, two batteries, one charger and one SD card and a CF Express card. You can add on top of that the PMVND2, which means the Peter McKinnon variable neutral density filter. So why do I even need a variable neutral density filter? Well, sometimes to create specific images, you need to set specific settings and you set your aperture, you set your shutter speed or shutter angle, your ISO, and then you look at your image and you are still a little bit overexposed. So what can you do? Well, you can, put on your lens this variable ND and you can still have a little bit more control on the amount of light that actually touches your sensor. But I guess we will talk a little bit more about that in a future video. And you may ask yourself why the RF 50 mil f1.2? Well, I kind of fell in love with that focal length again a few months ago. I really love the image that it provides and I can almost do anything with it don't ask me why I didn't choose a zoom lens. If I have to do a quick edit on the go, I always bring with me my MacBook Pro 13 inches. Yes, it's the M1 version. I'm a big fan of the brand Exter. I'm a user of their wallets, and I discovered recently that they also do sleeves for laptops, and this is the one that I got. This one is perfect for me, it's really slim. I can strap to it the charger, a few cables, an external SSD drive. The one that I use is the Samsung T7. And I also have this little adapter that lets me plug in other drives and of course read micro SD and SD cards. And since I brought extra to the conversation, I also in the process changed my wallet with this slimmer aluminum card holder. I still love the concept and the design. 
So this is typically the type of gear that I would bring with me when I want to keep it light, when I'm traveling, when I know I'm going to snap a few pictures. And this is also what I would bring for a simple lifestyle portrait session outdoors. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is also the gear that my assistant will bring with her every time she knows she is going to be there with me and when she's going to film my behind the scenes videos. And yeah, I know the camera and the lens could have been smaller, yeah, but we're all different. And I said it earlier, I use this camera and lens for both my personal and professional work. This is my backup camera. And talking about my main camera, if you are following me on Instagram, and if you are not, please do so, you already know what is my main camera. And it's a bit different from the R5. So I guess that there will be another video about the gear that I currently use for my professional work. So stay tuned for that. And please share with us in the comments below, what do you carry with you in your personal photography bag? What do you carry with you? What do you carry with you? Is that even English? Thank you so much for watching. I guess that I will catch you guys and girls in the next one. The next one will be, I believe, another behind the scenes video. So until when? Until when? Until then. Please, have a good one.